Hey everybody, my name is Pete, and today I'm walking you step by step through how to build a simple spreadsheet business model. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video for my best piece of advice when creating a spreadsheet model, and let's get started right now. The first step in creating your model is determining the goal. When creating a business goal, they should be smart, specific, measurable, actionable, relevant, and time bound. In today's video, we're looking at a coffee roaster business that wants to increase online orders by 25% next year. So to start, I'm going to type in online orders in my model. That's my goal. And then I'm going to list out all 12 years of the month because it's an annual goal and we want to track it month by month. Next, let's identify the independent variables that impact our goal of increasing online coffee sales by 25%. So the two key variables for online orders are website visitors and conversion. Website visitors are the number of visitors to your website every single month, and conversion is the rate at which those visitors make an online order. Now we have the goal and we have the variables. Let's start connecting these things into a model that can help you make sense of your business. And to start, I'm gonna create a section of the spreadsheet down here to start modeling out scenarios. Let's start by filling out this section with last year's data for our goal and variables. Last year we had on average 5,000 website visitors and a 5% conversion rate. And visitors times conversion rate times 12 equals the total number of orders that we had last year. And I'm going to highlight this section in italics because it's just a reference point and it's not actually connected to the model. And now I'm going to copy this section, I'm going to paste it over here, and these are this year's variables. And these are the variables that we're gonna plug into the model. And I'm also gonna create a goal section to show the increase that we expect to see next year. Let's plug in a quick formula to calculate this year's numbers times the goal. And we'll copy that down into conversion. And here in the goal section, we're gonna calculate the percent change formula. So this year divided by last year minus one and that's gonna tell us if we're hitting our goal. Now I'm gonna plug these goals into our monthly timeline and use an absolute reference formula to do that. So equal sign this, and just press F4 once to apply an absolute reference, and that means as I drag this formula to the right, the value will remain constant, and similarly do the same thing for conversion and lock it into place. And then we'll calculate our online orders as website visitors times conversion and drag that over to the right as well. Lastly, I'm gonna add a totals column here so that we can keep track of total orders for the year. And then press Alt Enter to sum those cells quickly. And now we have a working model. Before we go any further, make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell so you're always up to date. Anytime I see a new subscriber come through, it's always a huge motivation to keep making videos. And let's jump back in. Let's talk about what to do with your working spreadsheet model. The two main activities I like to do with my spreadsheet model are planning and tracking. From a planning perspective, you can use the model to determine what projects you wanna work on this year. So our model shows us that we either need to increase website site visitors 25%. By plugging 25% in, you'll see that it gets us to our 25% goal or increase conversion by 25% or some combination of the two. What you can do in the planning section of your model is come up with a list of projects that are gonna increase visitors or increase conversion and then estimate the impact and the effort of those projects to determine which ones you wanna work on. For example, to increase visitors, you could run search advertising, you could start a YouTube channel, or you could start incorporating QR codes. To increase conversion, you could start taking Google or Apple Pay, you could invest in a one-click checkout solution, or start offering free shipping. You can estimate the effort and the impact that each of those will drive as it relates to your goal of increasing online orders by 25%. You can also use this model for tracking the actual results and comparing them to your initial estimate. So here we're gonna create an actual row, we're gonna create a delta row that compares the two. And the delta is just the actuals minus the forecasted online orders. And so as the months take place, you can plug those into your model and clearly see whether or not you're hitting your goals. We can even go up here to the Home tab and look for a number format that highlights negative numbers in red. All right, my best piece of advice is to keep your models super simple. With models like this, you work on them in a concentrated period 
and then set them aside. And then you return to the model in 60 or 90 days. If you overcomplicate your model when you return to it in 60 or 90 days, you won't remember what you did or how it works. I know I have a tendency to overcomplicate my models to try to make them a more accurate reflection of reality. But often that makes them more complicated and less useful over time. So start super simple so you remember exactly what you did and how your model works. Once you get into the discipline of working with your model over time, then you can add complexities as you see fit. Thank you for turning in. Make sure you click subscribe and that notification bell so you're always up to date on my videos. If you learned something today, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comment section, why are you creating a spreadsheet model? Check out the link in the description for the exact spreadsheet model that we created in this video and you can use as a starting point. And I'll see you next time.